So you've done some testing and you've decided that there is a need to treat a group of sheep. What worm are you going to pick? If you go into any wholesaler or vet that are selling any wormers or look online, there are hundreds of different brand names of wormers. What's important is that you choose the one with the right active ingredient for what you need it for. You want a wormer to be effective, so you want it to kill the worms that are in the sheep and therefore improve growth rates. If you choose the right wormer, then it's going to be financially beneficial for you. If you choose the wrong wormer, you're going to waste money and you're not going to improve the productivity of the sheep. So what wormer do you choose? Wormers are grouped into different families based on the active ingredient. So the active ingredient is the drug that's within the wormer. So we've got white wormers, which are benzimidazoles, they're group one wormers. And then we've got group two wormers, levamazoles, they're known as yellow wormers. And then we've got group three wormers, which are clear drenches, known as macrocyclic lactones. So these names, benzimidazoles, levamazole and macrocyclic lactones are the active ingredient within these wormers. Now they're grouped in this way because the active ingredient has the same mode of action on the worms. And the mode of action is the way that it kills the worms. So for example, within the white group, there will be lots of different brand names that all have benzimidazole in them. All of these brand names have the same mode of action against the worm. So if the worm gains resistance against this drug, then all of the wormers within that group will also be resistant on, on your farm. So you need to know what sort of resistance you have in your farm. SCOPS have got a really good document that displays all the different groups, so groups one, two and three, and the brand names within them. So before you choose what group of wormer you're going to use, you need to know what works on your farm. The best way to do this is to do some pre and post strength efficacy testing and just have a bit of a map on your farm of what wormers work and what don't work. Um, there's widespread resistance against white wormers, um, with the exception of nematodirus in the spring. So a lot of people will already avoid white wormers for drenching adult use if, if that's required at any point in the year, or indeed lambs um, at other points in the year. So yeah, make sure you do some pre and post uh, efficacy testing on your farm um, so you know what's working. If there's a particular group that's not effective on your farm, then you need to avoid all of the brand names within that group and move to another group. What you also don't want to do is you don't want to overuse one particular group. Um, because again, overuse of wormer is a, a really good way for worms to develop resistance. So you want to rotate between the groups. So although you might be using a different brand name to the last wormer you used, you need to make sure it's a different group. So how do you know what group it's in? If you look on the, the bottle, it will have the drug name on it. Um, all of the bottles also have a little circle with either 1BZ, 2LV or 3ML on it. And this is how you tell what group your worm is in. So you need to sit down with your vet, come up with a plan of what wormers work on your farm and what wormers are appropriate for what time of year and how you can rotate through, through these groups. Don't just be changing brand name, you need to be changing the group of wormer as well. Another thing to be aware of is um, a lot of brand names are formulated into combination products. These combination products typically have a wormer and a flucoside in them. And it's really important that you only use the product that you actually need. So if you dose with something with a flucoside in it at a time of year where you don't need to be treating for fluke, then you're going to promote resistance um, to fluke against that product on your farm. So use a flucoside when you need it, but only when you need it. So a, a narrow spectrum product is, is often more appropriate. Combination products are appropriate occasionally, but make sure that um, you know what's in it um, and, and it's, it's the one that you should be using. That's particularly important because a lot of the flucicides um, are also effective against a, a worm we're seeing emerging called homuncus. So if you are overdosing with flucicides at a time of year when you don't need to be using them, then you could also be promoting resistance um, and homuncus on your farm, which you absolutely don't want to be doing. Um, so yeah, just be aware of combination products. From a fluke point of view, um, there are some products that will treat immature fluke and some that will only treat adult fluke. So you need to have a chat with your vet and make sure you're using the right product for the right time of year. Because again, it could be financially and um, from a production point of view quite disastrous if you choose the wrong one. So we've got our three main groups that we've talked about. There are also two newer groups. So we've got um, group four, which is orange drench, and um, group five which is purple drench. Um, there are only one product in each of these, so Zolvix is your orange drench and, and Startect is your purple drench. 
campaign. The, these are the only newer wormers that are, that are there. There's nothing else in development, so we really need to protect these ones and make sure we don't promote resistance against them. The orange drench is often used as a sort of break dose in lambs later in the autumn. Um, but it shouldn't be overused at any other time of year um, because that is going to promote resistance against it, which, which we really, really don't want. So my top three tips um, for looking after your wormers. Um, number one, know what works on your farm. So do some pre and post efficacy testing to make sure the wormers you're giving are working. Um, if you have resistance against one group of drenches, you need to avoid using any of the brand names within that group. Make sure you rotate through your groups, so don't be using the same group year on year because you will promote resistance against that group and then it won't work. And my third point would be just be aware of combination products. Only use a combination product when you actually want to use both um, parts of it. So if you want to worm and fluke, then that's fine. Um, and make sure that the fluke part of it is treating the fluke for the correct time of year, be it immatures or adults. For any other information, there's um, the SCOPS website is a great resource. All of this is on there. They've got really good documentation that shows you the different groups and the brand names within them. And it's really easy to see um, you know, what, what brand belongs to what group and how you can flip between them. Also, you know, speak to your vet. Um, you know, I used this wormer last time, what should I be using next time? Or, or your local SQP. And the FAST website as well has um, lots of extra information. Um, thank you very much.